Good morning, my fellow yoga travelers. It's really good afternoon. Maybe tomorrow I'll get back to the morning routine when I return to Chicago, or maybe not. But certainly by the end of the week, I'll be back to the usual morning Dharma talks. Anyway, I'm mighty glad to be alive today, and I hope that you are too, as we continue to live, laugh, love, learn, linger, and live the life we love. It's Monday. It's Poem Day. This is called The Man Watching by Maria Rainier Rilke. I can tell by the way the trees beat after so many dull days on my worried window panes that a storm is coming and I hear the far off fields say things I can't bear without a friend, I can't love without a sister. The storm, the shifter, the shifter of shapes drives on across the woods and across all time, as if the world had no age. The landscape, like a line in the psalm book, is seriousness and weight and eternity. What we choose to fight is so tiny. What fights us is so great. If only we would let ourselves be dominated as if things do by some immense storm, we would become strong too and not need names. When we win, it's with small things and the triumph itself makes us small. What is extraordinary and eternal does not want to be beat by us. I mean the angel who appeared to the wrestlers in the Old Testament when the wrestlers' sinews grew long like metal strings. He felt them under his fingers like chords of deep music. Whoever was beaten by this angel who often simply declined to fight went away proud and strengthened and great from that harsh hand that needed him as if to change his shape. Winning does not tempt that person. And this is how one grows, by being defeated decisively by constantly greater beings. That's why I always tell my students fail joyfully when they can't do the yoga pose. Now today, I wanna to talk a little bit about depression. It's not an easy thing for people to face. And right now I'm acknowledging that if there's a chemical imbalance in the body, certain medication can be very, very helpful. So having said that as my disclaimer, I don't want you to think that I'm cavalier by denying that for some people that will be a tremendous help. But I'm talking now about a little bit different approach to dealing with the things that seem to keep us locked down and preventing us from expressing ourselves. First, a person needs to want to get better because there's a lot of payoffs for not getting better. If your mind is foggy, that mist in your mind helps you to face being a failure. Since you don't have any plans, you can't be held responsible for not achieving them. But then you get overwhelmed by a lack of structure. When you're attending to something that you're really interested in, then life is worthwhile. Deal with problems when they're small before they grow into something big over time. Like getting a message from the IRS that you earn a certain, you, you owe them a certain amount of money. Pay it right off if you can. Because if you don't, if you delay, if you wait, interest accrues over time. And then what was a small bill turns out to be you owe a lot of money. Don't have self-contempt, but treat yourself as if you have value and worth. 
and give yourself the same respect you'd give to any other person. Something as simple as getting up at the same time helps you function in your circadian rhythm. Not for everybody, but this is one example of many things that you could try to give you a positive orientation in life. Even these little small gains can accrue and be powerfully helpers over time. Then even sometimes your suffering, your own life can find meaning. And if you remember that you're influenced by the environment that you're in, especially your inner environment, what's in your psyche, then you realize what you do matters. There's no mucking around when it comes to this. Understand the circuitry of positive emotion, dopaminergics. Having a goal and pursuing it gives a positive emotion, positive enthusiasm. So that means understand that you have choice. What you do matters. There's no mucking around when it comes to this.